Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff and this is fifth part of our Instag blog app and in this video we'll fix one bug and we'll start to work on the main activity and if you like the tutorials you can subscribe to channel and that will encourage me to make more tutorials and as soon as we finish off with this tutorial series I will put the source code in the description box okay so let me show you the bug that I have found so I will hit on the run button so it's installed and i will hit on the menu button and my profile so and profile pic and the profile name has been retrieved okay so i will just change uh, the profile name here so need or let me write here elon musk and i will hit on the save button so it is showing me the toast that is please select picture and write your name so this is the kind of bug uh, if the user want to just update his name, he don't want to update his profile photo then it will show us the toast please select picture and write your name so we'll fix that now so here we can save this URL uh, into our M image URI ok so this one so we'll write here M image URI equals to URI dot pass and we'll pass here this image url and again what we can do uh, we need to change few things so let me just uh, create one boolean variable so private this will be boolean and is photo selected and initially this will be false so we'll make it true when when user selects the image over here so on activity results so this is the proof that user has selected the image so we can make our its photo selected variable true and I will just minimize this method and this one also I will just minimize this ok so over here what we have to do so since we have already uh, retrieved that image so we don't want to upload that image again so we'll just cut this line from here and I will paste it right after this and over here we'll write if is photo selected is true else is over here and just after here we'll write another else condition so all these things will happen when the photo is selected like it will check if the uh, name is not empty and URI is not null then we'll store that image to the firebase storage and will not upload it again so in the else what we'll write instead we'll just call this method save to firestore and as a task we'll pass your null because we are not uploading so this is the task the uploading task so we'll pass this as a null and then what we can pass here the name that is being updated and then we can pass here image ref so this is the fix for this on click listener now we need to do one more change in our let me just minimize this method in our save to firestore method here again we can just check here if the task is not null so if the task is not equals to null and again we'll have else to this so in the else we'll just make our download uri as image uri and image uri so if the task is not null then we have to get the download url so let me just copy this all stuff from here i think till here i'll cut it and i'll paste it just up to here and we'll copy this cut this and we'll paste it in the if condition Okay, so what we are doing 
if the task is not null means user want to upload both profile picture and profile name then it will make the download URI as a URI so we'll get that from image ref so the user is uploading profile picture as well as the username or profile name and over here we'll just make our download URI as an image URI so just after here uh, we have created the hash map and in the hash map we have saved the name and the difference will be happen here okay so image uh, if the task is not null then the download URI will be this the URI and if the task is null then the download URI will be m image URI so that will not change in the cloud firestore so let's just test our app and we'll see it's working or not so I will hit on the profile my profile and I will try to change the name and let me just open the cloud firestore as well so as you can see here net stack and the image URL so let me just try it here Elon Musk and I will hit on the save button so as you can see uh, just the name has been updated over here not the image URL so that's what we wanted and it is working fine now so I will just minimize this and now I will open Android studio so now we are done with the setup activity so I will just close this and activity setup also so we will need to work on the main activity now or the activity main so here what we need, uh, we need one recycler view. So I'll just search for recycler view and we'll drag it over here. And we'll constrain this to horizontal in parent and to the bottom as well. And this top will be to the toolbar. And we'll make the layout width to the match constraints and height as a match constraints as well. So now for the fab button uh, we'll require one drawable so I will just click on the drawable new vector asset and we'll search for add one so add and we'll select this in the white color hit on finish and then I'll search here for fab so floating action button and I will put it over here so we'll select this so we'll constrain this to the, this side and bottom as well and we can provide some margin so 16 db school and from the bottom as well 16 db or maybe 32 from both okay and we need to change the background tint of this so background tint and this will be dark blue and we need to change this addition drawable color so for that just write a tint and this will be color white okay so not android one this will be app one so just write your app and this is white now okay so now uh, we'll just collect all the widgets in the main activity so we have the recycler view so private recycler view let just name it as m recycler view and then we have the floating action button so let me just write it as a fab and then we don't have anything so we'll find the IDs so recycler view sorry m recycler view equals to find you by id r dot id dot recycler view and then we have the fab button so fab equals to find you by id r dot id dot floating action button and we'll add on click listener to our fab button so fab dot set on click listener new on click listener so we'll create new activity for that so adding the new post so new activity select empty activity and this will be add post activity So over here we'll just start the intent 
admin activity dot this and then the add post activity dot class so we'll not write finish here so the user can get back in the main activity from the add post activity okay so let me just close the main activity for a moment and in the activity add post will require one some will require one driver so I will just copy this add and I will paste it in the drivers and again we can have the toolbar in this activity as well so let's just grab it from here and the ID will change this to the add post toolbar now we'll write your image view and it will be match parent and the height will be 250 dp and let's provide it ID as post image and the scale type will be center crop we'll add background to this and that will be add button okay cool and we'll put it over here we'll constrain it to the toolbar and we'll make this as a zero and the layout width will be match constraints let's constrain it horizontal and parent and then we'll grab edit text code from here so this is one i'll just copy this and i will paste it over here and we need to change this id so the id will be caption caption text and we'll put it over here constraint it horizontal in parent and to the image view and let's again just and let's grab one button from here okay so we'll just copy this till here and i will paste it just after our edit text and we need to change the id so this will be save post button Again, we'll just drag it over here and we'll constrain it horizontal in parent and to the edit text as well and let's just make it as a 64 margin from top and we need to change the text of this one button so we'll click on the new string value and this will be add post hit enter okay and again we need to change this hint so this will be enter caption or maybe we can write here write caption here and click on okay and hit enter Okay, so this is our design for the add post activity now we'll just collect all the id of widgets so we have private button um, add post button and then we have an edit text so this is an caption text and then we have an image view so private image view and this is um, post image now we'll find its ID over here. So I'm add but post button. Save post button.
okay so that's it for this video in the next video we'll implement this add post activity we'll add on listener to this image view and also we'll start to save this data into firebase storage and cloud fire store so that's it do subscribe and thank you for watching